today's episode, we've got 400,000 coins to spend. If we win, we double that to 800,000 coins next episode. Let's hop in. Today's double or nothing is going to be extra amazing. Because for the 100k and 200k episodes, we got a lot of good budget players. But Most Feared was not out yet. And Most Feared has some of the best budget cards in this game. I'd be willing to bet that about half of this team will be Most Feared. And there's a reason for that. And the very first guy that comes to mind, Caleb Farley. We've been using his gold corner in previous episodes. 79 overall, 87 speed, 87 excel, and he's 3,000 coins. That Eric Stokes that we used to use was like 30k with the exact same stats. So yeah, most feared is so clutch. Don't forget that Caleb Farley is six foot two. I wonder if this guy knows, like, do you think Caleb Farley knows that he's just a Madden god? Because I feel like I don't really hear his name in the league that much, but he's got to know he's just a stud in Madden. Another most feared budget beast, Keyshawn Nixon. Apologies on that pronunciation. I've never actually heard of this guy, but he's 87 speed, 86 XL. Most feared gifted us with two insane corners for like 3,000 coins each. That's gross. We've hardly spent anything, and I have two crazy good corners. Also a most feared corner, also 2,400 coins. Michael Carter, 86 speed, 86 XL. <laughs> It's so crazy how good these cards are. And if you want a guy that's a little higher overall, you could pick up Greg Stroman, Team of the Week for the Bears. 86 speed, 88 XL, 5'11". He's really good. He's actually so cheap and good that I'm going to pick him up also. I'll probably end up moving one of these guys to a backup position that I can sub in for nickel defenses. So it's important that I have an extra secondary player anyway. And that's just so cheap. Like, that's, that's crazy, honestly, that you can make your corners pretty good for like 10,000 coins. Next up, we're going safety. And of course, I'm getting my all-time favorite card in this game. Last episode, you saw we had Tyson Anderson gold. Well, Tyson Anderson has an 81 overall elite. And I'm hoping that down the line, he gets like even crazier cards. Probably not, but I'm hoping. Tyson Anderson, 85 speed, 88 excel, 6'2", 207. Ah, he's just so good, man. He'll probably end up being my user if I go nickel. We still got to pick up a middle linebacker for those sets where I can't user a safety. And then at free safety, the Unstoppables promo has a really nice free safety in Jabril Peppers. Pretty damn expensive, but I think safeties are so important. I want to make sure that my safeties are always studs. Great hit power, good speed, good acceleration. You know what? Now that I say it, Jabril is a good option. I don't want to take away from Jabril, but looking at that price, I can't really justify that. We might have a Bengals safety duo. Daxton Hill. We were using gold Daxton Hill before. Take a look at the slightly upgraded most feared Daxton Hill. 85 speed, 86 XL. He's nasty. I can't believe I'm doing that. We are going to have so many coins to spend on my skill positions, though, and that's kind of what I'm going for here. I'll go Daxton Hill at free safety. At linebackers, for 11,000 coins, I can get Sion Takitaki. Obviously, he's not built for the pass rush. His power and finesse moves are horrible, but his block shedding is good, so he'll be good in the run game. He's just not getting to the quarterback, so we got to let my left and right end get to the quarterback. What a great linebacker card. He even has okay change of direction. He's 6'1 with 84 speed, so if you really wanted to, you could user him, but I don't recommend it. Probably just use her a safety. This is the first time in Double or Nothing that I've actually found this card on the auction house. I've been looking for this card for so long. Doesn't feel like there's a lot in circulation. He'm not expensive, but Troy Anderson, 6'4", 83 speed, 85 XL, 78 change of direction. And he's a 77 overall. He's 4,000 coins. This guy was built to be a middle linebacker user, man. 100%. Now, once again, linebackers don't animate the way you want them to. They don't jump how they're supposed to. That's why people use their safeties, but there are are certain sets where you're forced to use a middle linebacker. They won't let you sub in a safety. And that's exactly what Trey Anderson's for. I'm glad I finally found him. For my backup middle linebacker, I'm rocking this Divine Diablo again. I've used him before. He's just a really solid overall card. And to be honest, there's not a lot of depth at the middle linebacker position. The good middle linebackers are absurdly expensive. And there's a gigantic gap between them and all the mediocre ones. So it's going to be a few episodes before I actually buy an absurd middle linebacker. And at right outside linebacker for 2,500 coins, dirt cheap. I can get Boye Mafe, 6'4", 81 speed, 84 excel. Another guy that just gets a lot of good Madden cards. I actually had him on last year's Double or Nothing because he's just always getting good cards. Keep in mind, I have almost entirely finished the defense. I haven't even spent 50,000 coins yet. That's how insane that most feared drop was, at least for building a budget team. At left end, for 12,900 coins, I'm getting Mike Dana. It's actually a very fast left end. He kind of looks like a linebacker. In fact, he kind of is a linebacker. He's 6'2", 260. This is more of a linebacker than a left end, but it gives 
gives him really, really good stats for Madden. And I've been kind of getting rolled out on a lot. The rollout is actually pretty strong this year. So I want somebody who can contain a quarterback. That'll be Mike Dana. And then at right end, I'm taking Jonathan Bullard. He's kind of the opposite of Mike Dana. He's a lot bigger, strong, block shed tackle. Once again, this is a position where if I don't spend 80,000 coins at least, it doesn't feel worth it to me. Because a lot of what makes right and left ends really good is abilities. Like this Von Miller gets edge threat. This card is so disgusting. Even with my max budget, I couldn't buy just Von Miller because he's like 600,000 coins. So yeah, I'm just going real budget on that. Same thing with D tackles, man. D tackles need inside stuff or one of those abilities to be very valuable. So there's no reason for me to get one right now. I'll take Hassan Ridgeway. 83 strength, 86 tackle, 80 power move. So he'll be, you know, whatever. For 2,900 coins, he can hang out there. There's no point in spending 20K to get an 83 overall who's going to do the exact same thing. And at D tackle two, I'll take 76 overall Cameron Young. Honest to God, guys, no real reason. He's cheap. He's a 76 overall. And if you've noticed the strategy thus far, I just finished the entire defense for 70,000 coins. And quite frankly, this defense is better than any defense we built thanks to most feared. So I'm going to go throw that lineup in and then we have 330,000 coins to build an absurdly good offense. I'm excited. All right, boys, here is the new look defense. And I said probably half these players be most feared. I think I was on the money. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine most feared. That's more than half. At our corners, we have Caleb Farley, six foot two with 87 speed. We got Michael Carter and Keyshawn Nixon who have 87 and 86 speed respectively. Daxton Hill, stud budget free safety and and Tyson Anderson, one of my favorite cards in the game. Both Bengals. So we got we got some Bengals safeties up here. Greg Stroman is my backup strong safety. This is a little weird. A lot of people would probably just run an actual strong safety here, but this dude was 6,000 coins, 86 speed, 88 excel. It's a little short for a strong safety, but when Tyson Anderson comes into linebacker, Stroman will guard the skies up top. We'll see how he plays. Sion Taki Taki, amazing budget outside linebacker. Same with Boye Mafe. Troy Anderson, 4,000 coins, 6'4, 83 speed, and then Divine Diablo at MLB 2. 70,000 coins for that defense. And now we can uh, we can ball out on offense. Let's go. So offense, truly one of the craziest budget cards that they dropped was a Devin Duvernay. Sick, I guess. 88 speed, 80 jump, 85 catch. That's an 83 overall wide receiver. I don't really know why Devin Duvernay ended up getting one of the craziest budget cards, but beggars can't be choosers. I will take that card in the end of the week. It's only 12,000 coins too. Absurdly fast. Devin Duvernay. And look who's finally on the auction house as well. Tyquan Thornton. I've been looking for him for forever too. Absurdly fast 6'2 wide receiver. There were times where he was like 40k. There were times where he just didn't exist on the auction house. But right now, he's an easy 7,000 coins. So we'll grab Tyquan Thornton as well. And now let's get one superstar wide receiver. Dude, this Nico Collins is so, so good. This is a really expensive card. He's 6'4 with 86 speed and then the reason he's an 86 is he actually has insane for the rest of his stats. I, this is one of my favorite wide receivers in the game. I've used his Nico Collins a lot. Is he worth 67,000 coins? Wow, that just got bought too. What do I got to pay now? Now it's really not worth it. If you see the Nico Collins, though, you got the bread for it. Pick him up. I'll give you that knowledge there, but I can't buy him now. Oh, that is a really good price. Wait, I, let me buy this. Let me buy this before I say anything. <laughs> My Nico Collins alternative is 85 overall Megatron. 85 Megatron is a nasty card too. In fact, you could probably argue that he's better than Nico Collins. He's faster. He's taller. He's less expensive. I probably should have looked at this first anyway. It all worked out. 85 Megatron. That's going to be our wide receiver one. Stud. Absolute stud. Staying on that same train of thought, the legends. 86 overall sweetness. 86 speed. 88 agility. 85 change of direction. 84 break tackle. I really want to use this. I have been cooked by Walter Payton so many times. So we've got wide receivers. We got a halfback. We need offensive line. We need a quarterback and a tight end. And we've got 225,000 coins to do it. Big Albert. Oh, this is a nasty budget tight end. He's actually the fastest tight end you can get under 50,000 coins. Good route running. He's 6'5", but he doesn't block very well. This is a guy you throw the ball to, and I'm more than happy to do that. Imagine being the substitute teacher when Albert O was in Algebra 1 in high school. Trying to call his name. Albert Akiwaki Bugwaki. Oh, I, I just just heard him say it himself. It's Okwebenam. Albert Okwebenam. Yeah, I'm going with Albert O. Boys, I think it's a Legends Day. We're about to drop. Oh my God.
A hundred thousand coins out of the budget. That's a quarter of our entire budget. Just went on the quarterback. And honestly, that makes sense. That's kind of what real NFL teams do. This Warren Moon was one of the first really good quarterbacks to drop. He's obviously not one of the best in the game anymore, but dude, this card is sick. Not to mention he can do everything. He's fast. I think that card art goes stupid hard. And he gets Gunslinger. We can actually use a Gunslinger QB on the third episode. That's awesome. He also gets protected? What? Holy shit. Wait, this card is fucking cracked. I didn't even know that. Protected gives you stronger pass blocking for all of your offensive linemen. It lets you go budget on your offensive line so much better. You guys probably saw that if you watch Wheel of Mutt. Who am I fucking kidding? If you're watching this video, you watch Wheel of Mutt. I like Run and Gun. I'm gonna rock that. Warren Moon. Oh, I'm so happy we went budget defense. Now we just gotta pick up an offensive line, pick up a kicker and a punter, potentially. At left tackle, I'm picking up 82 Charles Cross. To be honest with you guys, I don't have any great reasons for specific O linemen. I don't notice a statistical difference. Like, I'm gonna pick up Isaac Sayamalo. He's got 74 pass block finesse and 85 pass block power. I think that's all a bunch of nonsense. I've never noticed a difference. Center, I'll pick up 83 Corey Lindsley. At right guard, I'm gonna rock Trey Smith, 82 overall. And at right tackle, I'll take 83 Evan Neal. By the way, this Evan Neal is actually insanely good. 90 strength. 90 strength on an 83 overall. Diabolical. This is a, this is actually a nasty card for this price. I just got done talking about how it doesn't really matter, but a general rule of thumb is if there's there's two cards of a similar overall, but one is from a more recent promo. Always take the one from the more recent promo, even if they're the same overall. That's the offensive line finish. I still got 25,000 coins. There's a few backup positions I want to handle. First is tight end. I always use two tight ends. We've got Albert O, who's his backup. I think I'm going to go with the Duke. I'm going to go Vernon Davis. Love Vernon Davis. He's a small tight end, more like a wide receiver, but that's exactly what I want. So we'll take him for dirt cheap with good stats. I want to pick up a kicker. Probably not going to pick up a punter. I can't tell you the last time I punted. I actually really like Daniel Carlson. I'll go with Daniel Carlson for 9,100 coins. And the Final player I'm going to pick up is Debo Samuel. I just want a fourth wide receiver just in case somebody gets really fatigued from kick return or something like that. All right. Hey, so defense is looking good. I've got 670 coins left, so I'm not buying anything. Let's fill this lineup in. And that's the full lineup. We're an 81 overall offense is carrying. This offense is so beautiful. That's 330,000 coins on offense plus special teams. And then defense was 70K. So a full budget defense, but I still love my defense. This defense is going to be great. And then offensively, we have Warren Moon with Protected and Gunslinger to carry. We got Walter Payton, Megatron, Tyquan Thornton, Devin Duvernay, Albert O, and Vernon Davis as our backup tight end. Then a great offensive line. Oh, I cannot wait to use this team. Michael Vick, Jalen Ramsey, Charles Woodson. I like it. That top three is a gigantic upgrade from our last top three. I'll definitely say that. Falcons versus Eagles in Lions Stadium. It's an all NFC matchup here. Looks like this is man coverage. I'm looking for that 88 speed. Oh, Oh, damn. Duvernay was wide open, but that blitz got home quick. All right, let's see if he lets up the exact same thing. He's going to let up the exact same thing. Oh, just kidding. He's shaded outside. Duvernay. Oh, my God. What a catch. That's a bad ball. So he's shading outside now. So hopefully we can throw inside. Wow. How is everything covered? Holy shit. The outside routes were jumped and the inside routes were jumped. Holy shit. That's not a good start. Tyson Anderson, hot up the middle. No, he runs it with Walter Payton. Or Bo Jackson, sorry, I keep doing that. Michael Vick, oh my God. He just missed. Madden 24, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the shit show. I'm just gonna go underneath here because I really don't know where to go. I mean, it's it worked out, but this defense has me fully bottled up. I gotta do something completely different. Let's re let's let's rethink this. Let's try us an eye formation stretch run against this Mike Blitz. I've seen this blitz so many times. I just don't always know how to beat it. I'm gonna take this left side. Honestly, I kind of like that. That's a first down. Not bad. I like that. Looks like I got some blocks. Oh my God. First guy misses. Dude, if I run that better, I might be a touchdown. I just didn't expect that first guy to whiff so bad. Why is he jumping that? Because if he's jumping it, then the slant should be there. It's like they're somehow covering both in and outside. There he is. Yes. <gasps> what is going on? What is this game? What the fuck is this game? Why are we dropping textbook passes? Oh my God, this is crazy. All right, whatever, it karma out. That was just karma. I'm looking at Duvernay, he's really not open. This is a monkey ass game already. Let's keep it together, boys. I have this bottle to Tyson Anderson. Yup! 
excellent defense. Second and 13. He's gonna no huddle, so now I send the blitz. When they no huddle, they're frustrated. Tyson Anderson right up the middle. Invix face it! Dude, this is such a dog shit game. He dropped another one. Oh! The safety! Greg Strowman! Oh my god, go! Dude, how many of you thought it was so sus when I took corner Greg Strowman and put him at backup strong safety? That man just clamped single coverage on a corner route and housed it. 6,000 coins, by the way. Oh shit, did he run commit? Weird game. Weird game, but we have the lead. Uh, I don't think he really has anything here. Why are you going to test the GOAT? Why are you going to test my GOAT corners? He's 0 for 6 with an interception, but it's it's really not his fault. Doesn't even really matter if I get steam here or not. I should just be uncontested. That was his first completed pass, ladies and gentlemen. He's just full torqued side wide. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a cover three. Why is there nobody over there? First and goal from the one. Oh, he's going to go half back, left side. <gasps> God, God, that is a dangerous pass. That is actually such a dangerous pass. Get home! This is a monkey game. Actually, we're idiots. Let's start throwing this ball, man. Let's start slanging that thing. Nobody is on Walter Payton. Good angle. Good joke. No way. No way that's house. No, he doesn't have the wheels for it. <laughs> I love how Walter Payton carries the football. Let's go. I wonder if I can throw the wheel since he's kind of... Yeah, he's just out of position. Like, he moved him over like he was supposed to. But even then, you're just kind of far out. Oh, what a great route from... Devin Duvernay to pick that up. That's huge. Patience. Patience. Walter Moon. Warren Moon! I call him Walter Moon. <laughs> it's Walter White, baby. That's Heisenberg. That little, that little sidestep deke out of Warren Moon, too. Ooh. Nice try, boys. Need more of that. Oh, rotate to... No, why did I rotate? Rotate's not even the right word there, but... <sighs> Mine. What?! Oh my god, that thing just fucking warped me out like a black hole. I was on that, it yoinked me back. Oh, fucking rain! <laughs> oh, Josh Allen, Miles Garrett, Michael Vick. Wait, what? Took my brain a second. Why do you have two quarterbacks in the top three? Is he going to be southern in and out quarterbacks? I respect it. All right, boys. Let's see. Let's see what he's all about here. So Josh Allen is in right now. It is not Michael Vick. We've got the Anderson duos over here. It's a counter run to Fred Taylor. It's actually a really good stuff there from Diablo, but they still got the first. You know, I like that. I like to see a run game team. You don't see it too often. Oh, shit. And he still ran it. I jumped the count. That, that lineman still got on me. Play action. And I think he just threw across the line. Illegal forward pass. What he just tried to cook up was nasty, though. I'm not going to lie. Fourth and 13. Obvious passing down. I'm going to drop everybody into coverage. We're sending only two. I don't think we're going to need the pressure. So I think he's going to throw a bad ball. Yes, sir. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's go, Tyson. Tyson Anderson comes down with it. Textbook defense. 70,000 coins on the defense, by the way. Oh, and he's in zone. Devin Duvernay, welcome to 15 yards, baby. One, two, throw. They got to stop doing that. 20 yards. Devin Duvernay. Come on, let's stat pad. Let's get some fantasy points, boys. Albert O on the left side. Great catch. Big stiff arm. What do we got here? Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Dude, I think I could. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He powered. He almost powered in to the one. Oh. All right. All right, boys. Let's catch this dub. Turnover points on the board. Let's make it two. Let's make it a two-point conversion here. Does he expect three straight inside zones? What psychopath would run it three straight times? Eight to zero. Play action once again. There's a corner route open. <sighs> oh, no. See, I like Troy Anderson, but Troy Anderson has no shot of making that play because he doesn't have lurk artist or anything, so he can't jump. It's going to go play action. Actually, this is the play through a pick on last time. Don't shoot the... What? Bro, he just threw the same pass on the same play, except we did not get the interception that time. Oh, it's a run. It's a counter. Get up there. Let's go. You're sucking my dick and licking my balls and fondling my shaft. Oh, my God. Not even the GOAT Tyson Anderson could get that? Oh, no. He's really going to go for it. But Troy Anderson, second and nine. This looks like a run. Oh, that's play action for sure. Right side, right side, right side. Close, 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 close. 84, I'm on you. I'm on you, 84. <gasps> How does that happen? How does 
ball hit you in the ass cheek. Intercept it. Josh Allen is out there playing like, that's Brett Favre, dude. He's just slinging that thing. He don't give a shit where it goes. That's prime Jameis Winston. What are you doing? This guy's a bum. You know what? I'm kind of glad to have a game like this coming off a loss. Bro, was he trying to dive at my quarterback? Bum central. Just sprinting all around the field, just diving on the floor. Holy shit, Warren Moon's a savage though. No way. Warren Moon's a savage. Absolute savage. Warren Moon. Warren Moon. Go all the way. Don't fumble. Holy shit. Let's bring the clock down a little bit here. Go inside zone. Let him tackle. I wish it was that easy last game. Oh, just come on. Can we get it together, man? Taekwon. Hitch route. Ooh, what a catch. Taekwon Thornton. The touchdown and the two point. Little play action here. I'm not on it. Shit, Richard Nixon. Let's go, buddy. Oh. I did not see that. Oh, is that a holding? Wait, what? There's a flag? There can't be a holding. This is competitive. I got an illegal contact. What? Yes, Richard Nixon. Good defense. That wasn't even Richard Nixon. That was, uh... Was that my boy Strowman? Or was that Caleb? That's Caleb Farley, isn't it? <laughs> oh! Michael Carter! Everybody gets an interception today. First and ten. This game is over. Yeah. I just get an intentional grounding. Wait, that's weird. How is that intentional grounding? I have a receiver over there. Big post down the middle. Oof. Yeah, that was, he took a lick. Megatron took a big hit for that one. And a bad ball there under pressure. The only route that even has a chance here is Megatron. Let's give him a chance. Guys, I ran the data. I did the next-gen analytics. Next-gen analytics said I needed to go for it on 4th and 25 from my own 13. I don't make the rules. Okay, this is football in 2023. It's all about analytics. And I'm right. And he has the ball, so pass it. And he fucking respect. That was such a window. Got absolutely rocked. We maintain the seven point lead right there. Oh. Guys, guys. <laughs> Everybody settle down. Everybody settle down. We're okay. I'm gonna throw absolute fucking laser beams until I win. Laser beam number one, bingo. Skirt out to the left. I like it. But now he's back in the zone. So we're just going to throw another dot. Duvernay. Go, 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 go. Guys, I don't know what I was doing earlier, guys. Just being a silly goose. Ooh, run and gun. Mr. Moon, you dirty devil. Mr. Moon's got run and gun. I could throw a laser beam anywhere. Ooh. What's insane is that was a perfect throw. Like, that shit's, ins that shit's nuts. Oh, good double team right there. Use it. Alberto, laser! Run and gun! Big wiener lover back on the board. All right, guys. I think I got... This is what I don't get, all right? You're all in the comment section talking about MM Cell. Can't a guy just goof around anymore, you know? Can't a fella just goof around anymore? A fella can be a woman if he wants. I can't goof around in my game of Madden. I mean, you're not <laughs> wrong. But right now, it's the Tyson... <laughs> Jesus. Not on the GOAT Caleb Farley, man. Not on the goal, Caleb Farley. That was my fault. If I'm going to blitz like that, I got to send Tyson Anderson. He is going to run the ball. Next to Hill. So if I score again here and I kick my PAT, nine point lead. Man coverage. Megatron's going to get a look here. Second and inches for Megatron. Oh, that's too easy. I do got to, I got to run the ball. Could it, Do you think I could run the ball so much that I, I end the entire game right now from two minutes, 30 seconds left in the third quarter? Like, could I run it so effectively? Now let's get to the outside. Oh gosh, look at how good this looks. Good nine yards there from Walter P. Same thing, other side. Gonna go left side, just cut this. Oh, geez. That Troy Palomalu is fucking me up. Technically, this is more efficient that this is third down, but I just have to pick it up right here, right now. Walter P? Dude, Troy Palomalu messing everything up. Fourth and inches. Palomalu doesn't get there! Walter P's out! Dude, that Palomalu's insane. He's not even using him. It's just computer Palomalu. This is some diabolical. Dude, is this guy even playing? Well, who is he using on defense? I haven't seen him once yet. I think he ran commit, which is insane because we got six yards on that. No. Hang out, Warren Moon. Damn, got leveled. It's fourth and three. I'm going for it. I want to end this game. I'm ending this game on this drive right now. He's there. Duvernay. Sit down. Yes! Four to three. Hand off Peyton. There comes another in computer, Troy Palomalu. Holy shit, this guy is a shark. Zone run, cutting it up. We had the blocks there. We had him. Low key, Duvernay was there. And my, my tight ends are fucking glued on top of each other. What are we doing? Fourth and 10. I'm going for it. I want to end the game right now. The ball game right here. Wait, what's he doing? He had it. And Warren Moon throws to absolutely nobody. Turn the ball over. We just gotta play some defense, boys. We just gotta play some defense. That's it. It's simple.
He goes, no! <laughs> what? 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 He didn't even say bad timing, Bullhawk! I just dropped it! How? I lurked it! I knew exactly when he was running, and I lurked it! What? Oh my god, I just ended the game with that. Had I gotten it. Just gonna throw to the boundary here, Fred Taylor. Holy shit. He just got the world's greatest blocks. Wait a second, you run that in the end zone. That's the only way I win. Holy shit, they just want the Chiefs to win so bad. It doesn't really matter though. He could have won the game by just downing that and kicking a field goal. But thank God he did that. Oh my God, thank you. It's actually winnable now. It's winnable, we still gotta win. Oh, if I house this? Pick two would have been, it would have been G, G fucking G for sure. Who do we pass to when and why? Take Duvernay on the whip. Now that I look at that again, though, it looks like he actually shaded that outside. So we do the same thing. That is so bad. Guess it doesn't matter. We hit Alberto here and we step out of bounds. I gotta make sure I turn two clock off, though. I have enough time and enough timeouts where that didn't matter. But wow, I could have just fucked us so bad. Wow. Just unbelievably open is Megatron down the middle. Wonder how that happened. Vernon Davis, wide open over Palomalu's head. Get down. Call the timeout. 22 seconds left. First and 10. There he is. Do I get in the end zone right now? Just get out of bounds. I maybe could have made a play to get in the end zone there. Maybe could have let him upfield. Does he bail out again? What does he do here? Send Duvernay up. I'm kind of looking at Alberto. First and goal. I can always just throw this ball away. Oh, I think I had RB in the middle. I have B in the back. I have A. I got him. What? What? Why? Why? Why did he drop it? You have to tell me why. You can't just do that. I have to know. Megatron. Fuck you. My God, what is this game? And for any of you morons who tell me to squib, they return kicks more on squibs than on sky kicks. DK Metcalf. Okay, it doesn't, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. It's all about the Hail Mary anyway. Why is Warren Moon in? Why is Warren Moon in? Hello. 28 to 32 seconds left. It's truly all on a Hail Mary here. Does he go left side? That is a bad ball. Oh! Let's go! I went from cakewalk to me literally choking so hard to me literally clutching up so hard. Holy shit, what a ball game. The 400K team survives. 18 for 31, 300 yards almost, three touchdowns and an interception. Josh Allen, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Walter Payton, 14 for 41. Fred Taylor, seven for 20. Warren Moon, three for 35. And his Walter Payton, two for 54. Duvernay, seven for 137. Duvernay's nasty. Megatron, five for 76. Albert O. Dude, I cannot believe that Duvernay dropped that ball. I need to watch. Oh, wow. They're not even, they, I don't get a replay on it. The, the game doesn't want to see me. Mm, they don't want me to walk that back because I want to walk that back. This is your team in all its glory. The 81 overall 400K squad. Offense looking nasty, even if we can't catch the ball every once in a while. Defense, honestly, defense played their hearts out and they were so much less expensive. I think for the 800K episode, I might load up on defense and offense can just get shit on because I'm poverty regardless. All right, hey, I love you guys. Thanks so much as always. This is an amazing episode. I'll see you in the next one for 800K. Hell yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace.